Hi there, sign of Aries. This is Kim here to do your reading, guys, for your next 48 hours. Thanks for joining me. Thanks so much for joining me. Um, thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing. Also, I am going to start offering a membership for um, the channel. Really, I'll, I'll release a video. It has more to do with learning tarot um, than anything else. So, let's get going. Asking your spirit guides and your angels join us for the sign of Aries. Always in their best interest. At least we're looking for messages that are in their best interest. <clears throat> divinely guided. Divinely protected. You are. Divinely guided. Divinely protected. <sighs> okay. <laughs> The message I'm getting is not to worry so much on what others think. Um, that that's just the main. Yeah, that's more. That's a main message. This is the Dream Keepers Tarot, by the way. Let's pull. Let's go ahead and pull a Celtic cross, and um, and then we'll clarify using the small deck. Able to see something clearly. You know, maybe able to uh, decipher. Um, when somebody's being sneaky or to know when you're being lied to or, or this is you coming out of the seven of sword energy yourself, perhaps it's the energy of lying, cheating or stealing or something of that nature. Um, but in the reverse, it's, it's definitely getting away from that energy. Oh, okay, what else do we have? We got two sevens already. Um, two sevens are, that's about asserting yourself in um, bravery. For the sevens are challenges, and it's also a spiritual number too. <clears throat> Gosh, Aries. Jeez. Not feeling like yourself, possibly. Well, there's, good. Thank goodness. <laughs> the magician. Six pentacles in the reverse. Okay, awesome. Wow. Mm-hmm. Think about the things that really matter, the things that really make you, um, that really mean something. Think about those things. Maybe a focus to focus, or, or changing to focus in on uh, family issues or soulmate issues energy <clears throat> four of wands in the reverse as the challenge and the seven of cups tells it tells a story to me of, of feeling like um feeling like you failed at something like something wasn't a success feeling that though and but but i see this as like a distorted view or opinion here. I see it as something that's not true. Um, there may be, you know, a challenge to really kind of let this go. The hanged woman in reverse is no more waiting around. I don't know if this is Virgo energy, but this is just like no, no more waiting around the hanged woman. Um, in reverse, no more hanging in there, no more waiting. Losing patience. Losing patience with somebody that maybe can't see clearly or can't see something clearly because of the things that they do or ingest that could possibly be affecting their intoxicated look of what's going on. <laughs> okay, so let's clarify the hanged woman in reverse. Yeah, okay. So it, it, it we may be challenged by how long we're wanting to hang in there or fight for something or someone. We could feel kind of wounded already or feel like we've already gotten, you know, too close to the action. That's kind of what it feels like with the Nine of Wands. It's getting exhausted. And it may be getting exhausting waiting for somebody to see clearly, right? 
What's the four of wands? Um, the reverse of out. Excuse me, my stomach. Oh, goodness. Okay, so we have Leo in the reverse. Might be about a Leo energy that's not present. Sometimes that, that's sometimes that's what that means. Could mean a Virgo not present, too. Or, or this is just feeling like... Um, like the challenge here <clears throat> is finding the strength and the confidence to move on from something and to see it differently and from a different perspective. So maybe there is a need to see something from a different perspective and confidence to believe in your magic. You have the magician card is in the environment. So in your situation, in your environment, you have the energy of the creatrix or the magician. Being able to create, uh, you know, being able to create, basically. You're knowing what you want to fight for and you're going after it with the Knight of Swords here as your energy. You have an energy too at the same time so <clears throat> i'm wondering if these are like opposing energies like if they're just not helping each other right now okay, page of wands what is this about page of wands in the reverse past energy of waiting on news message king of swords energy in the reverse someone that was out of control or a situation that was kind of out of control um, and then have the King of Wands in reverse. It could be a Leo energy too, um, or Aquarius energy. A situation that was not under your control or within your control. <clears throat> and and the courage truly to accept it and move on. Um, also, I mean, this can be the energy of somebody that's like a, a saboteur or sabotaging that wants to see someone sabotage themselves or, or, or that energy of like self sabotage is here in the past, in the past energy. And maybe we're waiting and waiting on things to get better, but because in the meantime, it was like, we felt there was nothing that we could do. And there might have not been anything for you to do there. I'm not so sure. So you could be seeking out wise counsel with this um, King of Swords in the reverse. The King of Wands in reverse is uh, something, you know, focus, not focusing, but pointing out what's not working so that we can move on towards something that it does. Okay. And the Knight of Pentacles with the Seven of Pentacles. So it's disappointment in somebody that you put so much time and investment into, you thought the outcome would be different than what you're staring at now. <clears throat> what is the Five of Wands? This feels like a totally different energy, I'm going to say. It feels like a totally different energy here. Maybe you feel this magic influence in your life, or maybe you're seeing um, how you can, how powerful things can be manifested, magically almost. Five of Wands. It feels like um, okay, so maybe somebody's games or competition. I don't know. There's something about fighting. Um, fighting or arguing, it's got this person kind of upset. It may be hard to balance the emotions when people are arguing or bickering about whether, um, or just not agreeing on something, right? Maybe it has to do with a situation that from the outside appears like it is not reciprocal, <clears throat> like an equal give and take. But as a light worker, you kind of usually know that there's always a more um, detail. There's always more information. They were always finding out half truths. So I don't know. I, I would say definitely just uh, watch watch the emotions. Let's get something else for 
king of cups or you might talk to somebody who might be like older than you to help you with the emotions to find out what it is that will actually make you happy because i have the ten of cups in the reverse so that's why we're changing we're going after something different it's because we're still in pursuit after our ten of cups we may be in this competitive type energy too, maybe with business or something like that. Um, but here's you soldiered up with your weapon, the nine of uh, Knight of Swords, Gemini energy. Let's clarify that Knight of Swords with the Knight of Swords. <laughs> wow, the Knight of Swords is clarified by the Knight of Swords, guys. That's kind of a big, that means it's a, a message that they really want you to look at. Um, it's one of focus change and it's initiated by you, by self. So what are we creating? Because right now I feel like the choice is yours. Maybe you're thinking about choices and consequences someone's going to have to face. I mean, it can be that. The Knight of Pentacles might be Virgo energy, Taurus energy. It may be dealing with authority because of this king of swords in the reverse. So it might be something from the past, from the past. What is the creatrix about? Ace of Pentacles. And it's laying on the future spot. I'm just, I'm not a believer in, in Oops Chance. Not when I'm doing this. There was a situation in which you were just so disappointed in somebody. So disappointed. Um, so disappointed in this outcome here. I, I'm going to say that it was probably mending that needed to happen on a soul level. Like the souls needed healing. Um, and only, I believe only God can do that as far as, you know, healing your soul. Um, but he can. Or she can't. It doesn't matter to me. Source, whatever. Ace of Pentacles here is is a huge opportunity. Um, and it's uh, somebody that has brought like a big, big shift in the money. And the money is going to be going good. It may be so much it's shock or hard to contain. Truly, it might be that big. Because not only is it what you're manifesting, but it's the energy of what you're going to stay here. You're going to keep fighting for, it feels like. And that's after some kind of disappointing time. There's something about the money that, or the prosperity that's doing really good. What's the Six of Pentacles in the reverse? Oh. The Eight of Pentacles and the Judgment. The work that this person maybe has put into this, into making something right or balanced. And they have been awakened to something. Um, and now they're doing what works. So whatever's off balance here that we're looking at, there's something that they're awoke to. Um, judgment's coming across as being awakened here here lately. I don't know why, but it has. Um, second chance at, at working and, and at something with work and working, and it works out. <laughs> and there's forgiveness. It, you're, this is also an opportunity where something really long-lasting and stable can happen. It's an opportunity where um, forgiveness can be shown, grace and mercy for the grace that somebody can change because people do change all right so six of cups six of cups talking about six six gets me thinking that the thoughts um you know you can don't try to force um uh, anything to not happen like negative thinking we do have you know we do have thoughts sometimes that are not so nice but we just choose to not water or feed those thoughts. And um, keeping our thoughts balanced really for you should be keeping more of a positive balance. Um, if you find yourself thinking negatively, just, you know, catch yourself. 
catch yourself because what you think about comes about and um yeah this is like a hard lesson for everybody involved in this whatever this is six of cups okay that's why because uh some people are placing judgment maybe even you either on yourself or somebody else kind of harshly judging somebody kind of harshly and there's still like resentment and things like that that probably need to be let go of freeing everybody involved in this situation and i'm telling you something does work out self-initiated change knight of swords yeah so that is what i've got for you guys i hope that i gave you you know shed is shed some light it's it should make you realize that something's better than what we thought and that we're not seeing either they weren't seeing clearly it's a kind of a similar message to leo's reading of um, either somebody wasn't seeing clearly or you weren't seeing clearly. Um, or Spirit is saying, hey, 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 you're not seeing the situation clearly. <laughs> Either way, somebody's not seeing clearly. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's see. This is the Oracle of Genetic Gifts, and it's what I'm pulling from for your Oracle. I have Star Attunements for High Spiritual Healing, Activation, Ascension, and Life Missions. And I have Twitter Platform, Spiritual Involvements or Participations, and Energy Healer, Reiki, Chakra Healer, um, Crystal Healer, Healing Touch, etc., Star attunements for high spiritual healing, activation, ascension, and life missions. Something that happened that you're viewing as um, a mistake or that you feel it should be a different way was actually set in motion by the stars for the lessons that everyone will get out of it and the good that it ultimately brings about for high spiritual learning and evolution. Twitter platform, I think I've already said that, spiritual involvements or participation. Then I have psychic detective, that's interesting. Postcognition, psychometry, telepathy, and dowsing. Then I have tarot card reader, healer, teacher, guidance, and spiritual knowledge. Also, don't forget when you see the Star Attunements card, at least when I see it, I'm called to tell you to go outside at night and look up at the stars. Um, there may be a code there for you. <laughs> something that when you look at it, you know, you could align with something and make sure you're always looking towards the stars. Communicate clearly, communicate clearly and wait. Communicate clearly and wait. Okay, and we'll get an angel number message. Thirteen. I am confident. Taurus got this one, that number yesterday. You're a conscientious worker with a knack for coming up with creative ideas and turning them into something real. And let's do an affirmation card to wrap up the reading. Either that or a Gaia revealed. I'm not sure which one is going to come out, but there we go. The divinity within. You got the divinity within. The system of God is inside me. The very essence of divinity lies within the multidimensional attributes of my DNA. I am filled with love. I allow myself to receive. My needs are always known by my divine self, even before I ask. I give thanks and allow myself to receive. Countless blessings always come to me effortlessly. And, um, excuse me. <laughs> I had to sneeze. Whew. I create synchronicity. I have a consciousness that is always benevolently predisposed. predisposed. 
can't talk. I pull towards me the synchronicity I require. I pull towards me the synchronicity I require. You are getting those star attunements and things are starting to get lined up is what I feel like. So get ready because you're about to get in line, Aries. Sending you love and light as always. Bye, guys.